First step, let's take account of our inventory. We have the microprocessor board with some headers connected. I only have three, you might have more. We got the laser assembly. That's the laser and that's the connector. And in this black tube is a resistor. That's shrink tubing. We have the camera with the lens on it. We've got the black cap. And in there is four bolts and eight nuts. They're M2.5 uh, plastic. Over here, probably hard to see, is a one inch, really fragile uh, glass cover slip. We have a plastic hinge. We have a PVC card with a three quarter inch um, hole punched out. We've got the case. Um, this will actually be the top. Has a big hole, three quarter inch, that is exactly that size. Uh, this is the top and that's the notch for the uh, connectors. This is the bottom. It has four holes. This is the SD card and here's some blue tape, which is pretty handy. Um, we have some black silicone sealer. Mine's clear, but don't let that fool you. Uh, we need the black. I don't have it on hand. And your diagonal cutters. That'll be used to uh, cut the lens off carefully. So this is our one inch glass discs. We're going to glue it with the silicone sealer to the PVC plastic and then we're going to uh, glue the PVC plastic to the uh, underside of the case. Notice that this PVC card fits perfectly in here. You don't have to cut it. You're just going to align the two holes once you glue it. Um, so this is the top of the case. We're working on the underside. So the first thing is to take your card and there's usually a rough edge and a smooth edge. Um, so I'm going to attach the glass to the smooth edge. That's based on me punching it. So here's the rough edge. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, see that roughness? That's the smooth size. If you had an exacto, you could clean this, but uh, it, it's okay if you don't. Just here's the smooth edge. We're going to put the glass on it. So I have a little tube of the um, silicone sealer, so I'm going to cut a fresh bit. Always have a blank piece of paper to get your mess on. And so I'm going to put my silicone sealer on there. I'm going to take my stick. I'm going to make it pointy by cutting a diagonal. And I'm just going to take a little. And just, this is the smooth side. I'm going to put it around the perimeter. You want a thin layer because when you squish it, it's going to ooze out. You want a thin layer, but you want it all the way around. So I'm just putting it all and I'm taking the excess off. I'm going to cheat and use my finger. Uh, all right. So we're still putting silicone all around the perimeter. Okay. Make sure there's nothing left there. Okay, so I, oops, a little, little more please. Okay, and I'll show you a trick. I'm going to put this down here on the clean part. I'll show you a trick of how to pick that up. Oopsie. Put this down here on the clean part. I'm going to take the clean part of the stick. I'm going to wrap some blue tape around it one rotation and then I'm going to run it do it backwards. So now this whole part is sticky. I'm going to use that to pick this up and I'm going to drop it right in the center. Okay. And now I'm just going to gently press down the edges to make sure all of the glue, all of the air is pushed out. Be careful you don't push too hard or you'll snap the plas you'll snap the glass. And that's good. And I'm going to lift it. And you notice there's a little bit over the edges. That's okay. I'm going to turn it over. A little bit oozed out. That's all right. We want the center to be pristine. Never get any glue in the center because it'll ruin your optics. Okay, but a little oozing out the edges are fine. And since this is, I need to let this dry, but I can also, I'm going to put it now around the perimeter. So I need more of my silicone. Put 
put some more out and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to put it around the perimeter now I can be a little more liberal because I got a lot of surface area with that card but you want to make sure it's all the way around because this has to be a waterproof seal I'm just going to use my tube directly I'm going to ooze more out There we go. Put it liberally around. Make sure you get the whole perimeter because this has to be a waterproof seal. Spread it out. Okay. I'm going to clean up the edges. Sorry, I'm using my finger, but you can use a towel if you're a neat nick. Now, what's important is, see this is the bottom where all the glue is? you want to have the bottom while the glue is be the bottom and then drop this in place I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to make sure it aligns and you notice as I push it more is oozing out that's okay I'm aligning it and pushing it so it all oozes out and I'm going to leave that there because if I start smearing it I might touch the center and that's really bad There are two critical steps. One is removing the lens, and the other is attaching this cable to the board. Those are the two most critical in that if you mess it up, you will destroy the camera or the board. So this is one of the steps you have to be very careful on. So this is the camera, and the first thing to notice is it's floppy. It's not connected to the circuit board. This is the printed circuit board PCB and this is the camera module and if you just with your little finger you can pry off boop this connector and so now you have the camera and this is double stick tape so just take your nail and pull off just the layer of double stick tape there you go it's good to have nails. Once you get it going, I'm going to use my little, oopsie, it just <laughs> came right off. There it is. Okay, cool. That's the sticky part, so don't touch it. I'm going to put the connector back on. Just line it up and press. Boom. And now it's still floppy, so I'm pushing down on the connector and let it drop where it wants to and just push down gently. So now the camera is firmly attached to the circuit board. Okay, now there's this little tab that protects the lens. Let's leave it on. We have to remove the lens. Um, and notice, let me get the light here. Notice there's a slit. Let me see what I can point. I'm gonna point with my diagonal cutters. Oops, sorry, let me make, I'm gonna make a pointer out of this. Got a little diagonal. Okay. So, if we focus, come on. There's my little, little focus. Okay, there we are. If you notice, see there's really two parts to this. The top part, there's a slit here, and then the bottom part. We want to remove the top part, which is the lens and lens holder. But we want to keep the bottom part, which has glass on it, pristine. So I'm just going to start nibbling. I want to hold down with my thumbnail. I'm holding down the corner because you don't want to rely on the, the uh, double stick tape. You want to push the camera against here and just start nibbling. I'm going to nibble on the lens. I can feel it popping up. Okay, it's coming out. The most important thing is, oops, there's the lens popped out. There's the lens, it fell right on the image chip. Oh, there it is. 
So the lens just popped off. The most important thing is not to get these sharp diagonal cutters to touch the glass in there. If you do, you'll permanently scratch it. And so now what I'm going to do is just nibble away at the corner. And the key is little, little bites. Okay, I got one corner off. I'm going to nibble on the side. Oops, second corner. And once you kind of get the second corner, it really just wants to come off. There, see, it's just pop boopsie. It's popped off. You want to take um, two of these sticky things, uh, sticky foam thing, one on this side. Squeeze down. The second one on the other. Good. Okay. And now this case that we let dry overnight, what we're going to do when we, we're going to take these off and we're going to line it up so that the camera, sorry, I got a lot of glare, so that the image sensor is centered and then move it in and stick it, okay? So we're ready for that. Oh, this is your last chance to clean it. So I'm gonna just go to my Q-tip and clean. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I cleaned it with my Q-tip. No hairs on it. Check to make sure there's no hairs, no fibers. Nice thing about this double stick tape is if you ever need to clean the bottom of that or the top of this, you can pull it apart and use more stickies to put it back together. Okay, I'm taking these the protective film off the double stick tape. I'm going to hold it by the corners here. I'm going to look at, as I'm moving it closer, I keep on trying to center it and make it all square, coming closer and closer, and boom, there I am. I'm going to just press it a little more firmly, and that's it. Now we're ready for the laser, rubber cap, and hinge. So we've got our sticky uh, foam tape, we got our rubber cap, we have our laser assembly, hinge, the bottom of the case, the top with the camera, I'm sorry, the image sensor. Notice there's a hole on the side. That's gonna be important. So, first step is, here's our laser. This is the laser and on the other end is the connector. First thing you gotta do is put it through the case hole. If you forget that, <laughs> you're gonna be in trouble. So there's the hole, I just pass it through so that the connector's on the inside and the laser's on the outside. Give me a lot of room here. And so now you just uh, hold this as little tiny circuit board. Can you see that? Uh, it's kind of fragile, so I like to hold it firmly um, by that. So don't hold it by the wires because those are fragile. Hold the circuit board and the top of the brass um, cylinder firmly. And then just unscrew uh, the brass fitting and there'll be a spring and a lens that'll pop out. You can save this for some other project and the spring and the lens you can save. We just need the body. You notice it has threads on it. That'll help us. Uh, and so here's the cap. Uh, and also notice the alignment, this uh, circuit board alignment. Notice like it's like a line. That's gonna be important. So the hole is slightly smaller than this diameter. So you have to kind of push it while you twist it. Okay, it's rubber, so it'll give a little. So push and twist. What you're doing is kind of making th threads and the reason I made it a tight fit is you want it uh, vertical. Good, so now it's caught, it's caught the threads and now you want to align the circuit board so it's parallel to the sides. So right now it's a little off axis, so I'm gonna rotate it a little more, a little more. So see how it's aligned, this circuit board is aligned now with the sides. There are two methods to secure the laser and the wire and the hinge to the cap and case. 
One is using silicone sealer. The other is using uh, black hot glue. We'll do the silicone first. You want to cover this whole thing with your silicone sealer. Now, again, mine is clear, but yours is going to be black. So get it all around. What this is going to do is make it light proof and hold it in place. Okay, okay. Get a little more here. There you go. Good. Okay. We're going to let that dry overnight. So now, next I'm going to I fold the wire over to the side because I want the wire to come down um, the edge. So when it lays down, I'll have all this area available for my hinge. So I make it bend to the side and then down the edge. I'm just going to tape it in place. And down the side. The second method uses a hot glue gun with black hot glue. And the first thing we do is take the hinge and notice the flat part where it lays flat. You want to put the double stick tape on the bottom of that. <coughs> and we're just going to put Put it on one side. Leave the tape on the other because when we do our final alignment, that's when we'll anchor it to the case. And then we're going to hot glue it to the face here. See the, the laser circuit board is lined parallel to the sides of the, the cap. So we're going to use the flat surface. So we make sure the foam is on the flat surface and we're going to hot glue it right to the edge here. So I'm going to put the hot glue on the cap. And be careful you don't touch this. It's really hot. Okay. And then we're going to line it up. Then I'm going to lay it on the flat surface and press. So now we want to route the wire down the edge here. So I'm going to do it in two parts. I'm going to hold it with a stick. Right to the corner. And I'm going to lay the hot glue. You want to cover the whole uh, laser so that it's light tight. I'm just going to, I'm letting gravity drop it down and then I'm going to do a trail off to the edge. That's it. Now since I laid down so much it's going to take a while to harden. Okay now I can fold it so it's right along the edge of the hinge. And I'm going to hold it there with my stick again so I don't burn my fingers and I'm going to lay the hot glue in and I'm going to dress up the edge too of the hinge just to make it a little firmer and get that little corner there. While we're here now we can assemble the bottom part Notice that there's a flat edge here that's going to correspond to this going on top. That flat edge, you want to put your four bolts and lay it flat and then take four nuts, put them on top. See this connector? What you want to do is with your nail Push it out ever so gently, only about a millimeter. You can just basically get your fingernail in there. That's it. That's as far as it goes. And you can see it's loose now. That's good. And you want to take your cable, the shiny part, the copper part, that's going down. 
and you want to slip it in between the circuit board and the black connector and that's it it just goes in a tiny bit push it in and while you're pushing it in take your nail and push that connector down that's it now you can put your circuit board in with the connectors pointing outward down okay. and while we're here I'm going to insert the SD card and the SD card has little gold contacts you want to keep those clean don't touch them with glue you want to put the gold contacts down and slide it in and push it till it's all the way in and now we can put the four top bolts in All right, now we're ready for our final calibration. I'm going to plug in the power and connect to it with my computer through the wireless connection. And once that's up, I'm going to tuck the wire in. And now I'm going to adjust this back and forth until I get the best picture and right about here you want an even illumination across the whole image and once you have that hold hold it in place take the double stick the protecting foam film off and do one last check that looks good and then just anchor this down. Just push hard and you'll notice now you can load your sample and put your cap down. The last thing we have to do is um, we have to anchor this down. So you want to have some flexibility because it's, uh, it's flexing, right? So I'm going to anchor it right where I'm holding it. I'm going to use my little stick Actually, it looks like it's just sitting by itself just fine. So I'm going to start, I can start with the hole. I'm just gonna build up. Build up some hot glue there and then along the side. And I'm gonna stop there.